All right, how's everybody doing today? Back again with another video for you guys. And today we have my full review of the Letson G1 USB headphones. Now, real quick, let me get this out of the way before we jump in. These are touted as gaming headphones, but I'm not a gamer. That being said, I do listen to and consume a lot of media with all of my headphones and these headphones were no exception and all in all my experiences with these has been pretty good so just had to get that out the way so anyways let's jump into this so the first thing now i have these two p things on camera this is my phone and a micro USB to USB adapter. I'm going to demonstrate a feature a little bit later on in the video that I think is pretty cool, which really makes these headphones really versatile, but there are some drawbacks to that, but we're going to get to that later. Now, let's jump into this. The first thing I want to talk about is build quality and design. Now, from a build quality standpoint, these are not the best. There's a lot of rattling in there. And you can clearly tell that these were made out of plastic. And it's a very glossy plastic. And these are very fingerprint heavy. As you can see, it's got a lot of smudges. Um, but it is what it is. And for the price of these, you really are getting a sweet deal, but we're going to talk about the price a little bit later. But the build quality on these is not the best, but it works. Now, in terms of design, I really do like the way these headphones are designed. You got your really big, plush ear cups with your nice, soft ear cushions, and this really does go over your ear quite snugly and you have no issues with comfort then you have some nice comfortable um rubber bands across the top which fits your head snug and it gives it a nice comfortable fit so in terms of design these are designed quite well and then along the side here you have your volume controls and then you have your vibrate controls right there and then this is the built-in mic so you can still if you hook this up to your computer you can still interact with Google now on your um, on your browser because you know Google Google has that feature enabled on the browser if you hook it up so you can still do that and still um, get queries using your voice and in terms of making calls on um, on hangouts you can do that with these no issues there so the design on this is designed quite well quite well indeed now the next thing I want to talk about is the overall comfort level of these the overall comfort level of these is quite nice now I've been using these for a while I actually lost track of my days that's why I'm not saying how long I've been using these for but um, these are quite comfortable and I had no problem using them for extended sessions, watching movies, binge watching TV shows. Right now, a particular TV show that I'm binge watching is Marco Polo and it's an actually good TV show. You guys should check it out. It's available on Netflix if you have that. If not, I'm sure you could find it other ways on the internet. But I had no problems binge watching all of season one with these headphones. And the overall comfort level on these headphones is quite nice. Now, next thing I want to talk about is the core features in these headphones. Now, these headphones are touted as having really solid audio and stereo performance with really nice bass we're going to talk about the sound in a little bit but i just had to call those features out and then you have your built-in mic as i've said you have your volume controls and then you have your um vibration controls so those are pretty much the core features of this this device another side little feature is that when you plug these in 
it does glow the color of the headphones and these are available in multiple colors so i believe it was white and blue and black and orange and another color which i can't remember right now but when you check out the links in the description you'll see all the colors when you click on the links so these are available in no multiple colors and it does light up the color on the side of the air cups here you'll see that a little bit later when i demonstrate a feature matter of fact we can go ahead and get it out of the way right now since we are on the feature section so these are USB headphones but you can hook them up to your smartphone just pretty cool feature so you see the USB right here then you take your USB to micro USB adapter right here it's hard to do from behind the camera but we gonna get her done so now it's a micro USB headphones then you pick up your smartphone here and I did test this but I just want to demonstrate it on camera for you guys and you plug this in now it's hard to see which direction this is behind the camera so bear with me and you plug them in so now it's plugged up and let me go find some music real fast let me turn some stuff off so I can save on battery here so let's turn this off and now let's take it to YouTube and we'll find a quick little YouTube video maybe one of my own so I don't run into any copyright issues so let me just jump over here and go to my videos and we're just gonna click on the first one that I see here so let's go with uh, this one alright and before I start the video here you go you can see as soon as I plug the headphones in and it got power you can see it started glowing this color now this is really cool at night <laughs> my friends were laughing at me the other day because they came in and I was testing these out and they're like man it looks like you got a heat on your head it's going orange but hey it is what it is you either love it or you hate it or you can get a different color so it glows a different color it's up to you I actually think these are pretty cool so I kind of like that but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate some sound I don't know how well you're gonna hear it because keep in mind I'm trying to pick these up pick up the sound with the smartphone audio so I don't know how well that's gonna be but I'm gonna go ahead and play this video for a little bit so you could get a demonstration of how it sounds alright and then let me turn up the volume so that's max volume right there and it does have I was testing it on my computer and when I'm listening to music you do get a lot of sound leakage with it connected to your computer at higher volumes you get a lot of sound leakage now if you listen to it at lower volumes um, anywhere between 8 and 10 you're not gonna get leakage but once you go over 20%, you're going to start to get a little bit of leakage. Over 50, you're really going to be able to hear it. And at 100, forget about it. So if you're going to use these, um, I suggest you use these when you're by yourself or you listen to it with the volume low. So just wanted to point that feature out. And you can hear it, it sounds pretty good. Okay, that's pretty good. We're going to stop there. All right. So I just wanted to demonstrate that little feature. I thought it was pretty cool. That's the only reason why I had my smartphone and the adapter on here. Let me unplug this real quick, guys. And you can see when you unplug it, it powers itself off. So that's pretty cool. Now let me go ahead and throw this all off to the side. And wrap this up all right all right now let's keep going so the next thing I want to talk about with you guys is the sound quality 
and the volume. And we're going to talk a little bit about the bass. Now, from a sound quality perspective, these headphones are really good, at least in my opinion. The audio is very crisp and it's very clear. Even at low volumes, I didn't have any issues hearing the sound. It wasn't crackly, it wasn't poppy, it was very crisp and clear. At higher volumes, it sounds the same, very crisp and clear, and it gets quite loud. Now, let's talk about the bass. The bass on these headphones is pretty good, pretty good. Starts off very subtle, depending on what you're listening to, and when it hits, trust me, you're going you're gonna to get a smile on your face. Now, the bass is really going to start to come in right around when you get to about 25% volume. Um, if you crank it up to about 50, it's going to hit quite nicely. If you listen to your music at 100, forget about it. But I guarantee you, you're going you're gonna to be laughing the whole time you're using these. Especially if you use them with the volume at 100, which I did for quite some time. And trust me, I probably went a little bit, of, a little bit deaf, but I had a great time while I did it, so... It is what it is. The bass on these headphones is pretty good. And what I would probably equate that to is the fact that these have a physical USB connection, which adds to um, the, the better sound quality, and which is probably one of the reasons why they're able to get such good sound and such good bass on this. We all know physical connections have a tendency to be a little bit better than wireless connections depending on what you get and look at these big old cans I'm pretty sure there's some big old drivers in here which also equates to the uh, the sound quality the bass and the volume so just wanted to point that out now the next thing I want to talk about is the mic quality and yes I can talk about that because they have a built-in mic again as I've said now the overall mic quality has been pretty good I must say interacting with Google with my browser and with my phone and yes I showed y'all I did walk around with these connected to my phone for a while it did look very weird and I had a ton of cables hanging everywhere but you know I had to do it for the review so I could talk about it with you guys so I had to take that one for the team a uh, few people were looking at me kind of weird but it is what it is so again the overall mic quality on this is pretty good now I did not take any phone calls with these because you know I, I didn't test the mic out for that long but as I've said I interacted with uh with uh well I did take a hangouts call on my computer so I did take a phone call with these so that being said the mic is actually pretty good and you should have no problems um interacting with your Google Now and doing voice commands if you connect it up to a vi device that lets you do that so the mic again is solid now the next thing I want to talk about is the durability of these headphones now from a durability standpoint these are quite good. Now, I dropped them probably twice in my testing so far, and they still work as if brand new. So, no issues with the durability. I think they rolled off of my bed. Uh, they got snatched off of my desk and fell um, in my uh, my studio slash office that I shoot in. It's carpeted, so they had a nice cushioned fall. So, no issues there. And I think the durability is quite good on these. And, and I would probably have to equate that to the to the build materials. I'm sorry, my uh, phones are going off. Probably got some things I have to interact with. I apologize about that. I'd probably equate that to the build materials on this and the way it's built. But overall, the durability on this is pretty good. Now what I'm going to do for you guys is we're going to... um. I'm going to talk about some positives and negatives, and then we'll talk about the price, and I will give you guys my final thoughts and maybe a recommendation or two. So, so let's start off with the negatives, because y'all, I'm sure y'all have been hearing a lot of positives with this device and in this video so far. Um, some key negatives that you know I had to touch on 
is the fact that these are one, these are wired and it uses USB. It would have been pretty cool if they could do this um, using wireless technology, Bluetooth or some other wireless technology. That would have been pretty cool. And the cables. The cables are ridiculously long. Look at this. Look at this. But then, so this is a negative, but it's also a positive. So let me flip it real quick. These are negative because this is a crazy amount of cables. I mean, this is ridiculously long. I can connect this to my desktop and still lay down on my bed and watch TV, listen to music, whatever. These cables are ridiculously long. Now, that's a negative because then I have a cable running across my whole setup. And y'all already know, I'm still on the hunt to get a completely wireless setup. So, that does make me a little sad to see one giant cable running across my whole setup here. But, it is what it is. And, on the positive note, this is actually pretty cool that they provided a cable. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Had to sneeze slash cough. Sorry. It's actually pretty cool that they provided a cable this long. So, you can still do some pretty cool things and have these connected and you don't have to be stuck at your desk with a little mini cable or a little mini aux cable that doesn't go as far and you don't really have to worry about snagging these we all know when we get into something and we're watching it and we're rocking back and forth and we're really into the show or whatever we're watching we have a tendency to like do a little too much and snag the cable sometimes and that does lead to a lot of breakage or damage and I'm very proud to say that with this long cable you don't have that issue so it is a positive but it's also a negative now uh, another negative would probably have to be the build quality although it works and it's very functional I wish they would have used a little bit better build materials you know it just Sometimes when I pick it up, it feels a little cheap. Alright, so those are the negatives. Now, for some positives. Again, the long cable, which will let you do um, pretty much anything you need to do and not worry about snagging or breaking the headphones. Then you have the built-in mic, which lets you interact with your whatever you're using, whatever you have it connected to with voice commands. Or if you are a gamer... And you can um, interact with the chats or whatever using the mic so you don't have to type. I do have a lot of friends that um, play League of Legends and they're often typing away if they're not using the mic on their headsets. And you know, side note, it was, a, a, it was one of my friend's birthdays this past week. This might be a nice birthday present for him. So I might call him over and give these to him as a birthday present. But the mic on this is quite good. The... Uh, the sound volume and overall audio and bass is really good. So, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much it. The build quality is... It's it's okay. It's okay. So, those are the positives. Now, let's talk about the price. And I will give you my final thoughts. And we'll wrap this video up. So, now, from a price standpoint... I got this on Amazon Prime Day, and this was during a lightning sale. So, let me get the original price for you guys. The original price of these is R $20. Now, it says that you're saving uh, 80%. So, I guess originally before Amazon did a price cut, it was $100, but... Net saving 80% is $20. Now, on the flash sale, let me go back into my account here. Uh, so they don't actually tell you the price. It just says flash deal. But anyways, I picked these up during the flash sales. And I paid, after cashing in some gift cards, I paid $0.45 cents for these headphones. Now, that is a deal. <laughs> Keep in mind, that was just for me. I think the the price during the flash sale knocked it down to like $15 or $10 or something like that. But I paid, um, after cashing in a few gift cards, I paid $0.45 cents for these. So, at that price, guys, this is an awesome pickup. And I, I can still 
recommend that you pick these up. Even at $20, I think this is well worth the $20. So you may be wondering, would I recommend these? Um, I'm not much of a gamer, but I would have to say yes, even for the gaming. But even if you just pick these up to do some regular media listening, music, watch videos, watch movies, I think you should be more than happy with these headphones. And at that price... You're going to feel really good. At that $20 price, you're going to feel, feel really happy. And you're going to feel like you definitely got your money's worth. So, yes, I do recommend that you guys pick these up. And don't forget, all links to where to purchase this will be down in the video description. Alright, guys. That being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please help your boy out and give it a thumbs up. That really does help me out. You don't know how much. If you gonna if you want to see more raw uncut content like this, please hit the subscribe button down below so you get notified as soon as new videos become available on YouTube. And as always, if you know anyone out there looking for some quality devices or products at some really great prices, please share with them my channel because I'm doing this for everyone. Alright guys, I hope everyone has a nice day and I will catch y'all in my next video. Peace.